I want to dedicate this evening to Barbara Kayila. It's her birthday. Dedicate it to um, um, to Asima Peter. Um, uh, in um, um, Asima Peter, it's his birthday. Simon Peter is a special friend. Very, very special. Let me tag a Simon Peter and Barbara Kayla. Barbara Kayla. Very. Where were we? Very special. Let me tag. Special dedication. -y. At Barbara Kaylor. Let me tag this person. Too. At. Uh, hey. At. Uh, at Babs. Salsa, Arizona, uh, at Peter Asimi, it's their birthday, Asimi and Peter, and Barbara Kayla. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be in the house, I'm not going to be Mana yale sisa ka hindi ya kapie Kapie ata Where is this me? Okay, katonda wange nsi Challenge mana ato Yes, dima Ganda was a course away, man. At
the barber hanging up. Which one next? Barbara Clearer. Which one next? You should take your kids to Sunday school. I had that a lovely time. That's the song the first time I had those kids sing. I just decided to go back into my childhood and fetch it. kids to send the school and also sit there. Hey.
Katona wana kwa kora. Katona wana kwa
wanted us to. Fifty percent of runners are in the wrong shoe. It's true. Yeah. I want us to read something uh, before I go. I did not bring it. How come? I will read number 16 because I don't have number 15 with me here. So I'll go ahead and read number 16. Number 16, day 16, uh, that is now Uganda, is operating on uh, I'm seven hours behind Uganda because the clock changed. Now I gained an hour, so I'm seven hours behind. Did I gain? Did I lose? I gained. What are you doing? I'll do 15 in the morning, but now let's do, let's do 16, uh, yeah. day 16, operating on the Ugandan calendar, one of my devotions, what are, the choice is yours, what are we going to do about the polluting of our planet? What are we going to do about the about the polluting of our planet? How are we going to deal with raising costs and devaluation of money? How are we going to channel the energy of the young in, in the right direction? There are many more similar issues that concern people, but there is one question that is paramount. What shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? This is not a new problem. Pilate asked the same question 2,000 years ago. So much depends on the answer. The wrong answer can mean that you lose, you lose everything that is worth anything. To remain silent is to reject Christ. Some people, like Pilate, see it theater but theatrically the, I do not know how to read that word it's T-H-E-A-T-R-I C-A-L-L-Y wash their hands announcing that they do not want to have anything to do with Christ some people oppose him with different lives they shout away with him crucify him but others praise the Lord who's but others praise the Lord, chose him as their redeemer and king. By accepting Christ, they find redemption from sin and death. They gain peace, joy, and eternal life. It is high time you gave your life to Christ. Through Christ, there is, you gain peace, you gain joy, and eternal life. You've tried it all and it ain't working. I guess now it is time to try my Jesus, my friend. It is time to try. The choice is yours. It is time to try. The choice is yours. When you make the wrong choices, it's going to be hard in 2022. When you make the right choices, life will be smooth. So choose wisely out there. It's either Christ or 
course, if you're not on Christ's side, you're on the devil's side. So I, I pray that you choose wisely. Because out there, things are rough. Do you know that there are men and women in the COVID season that are not crying? I am not crying. That the economy is bad. I am not. No, 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 no. Why? I serve a mighty God. The God of faith. The God who fulfills his word. My God has never lied to me. He has always come through for me. That is why I chose him. And I'll choose him again over and over and over until I, I am right where he wants me to be. Because every day the body does different things. So, I pray to the Lord that you choose wisely out there. It is time to give your life to Christ before it's too late. Because your tomorrow might not be promised. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. So be vigilant. Be, be aware. Don't be caught off guard. Don't get left behind. My brother, don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Okay? Don't get left behind. So let's open our Bibles in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 27 verses 22. Katunda wawa na kwa kola Bwari kore rinyari ange Ze siri choku muhitaba Kubanga ye ya nazo moyo we I read from verse 1. When it, when it was morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people held a consultation against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound, like, in your family, you have people who have sat in a meeting. They are discussing about your death. They are discussing about your well-being. They are discussing how to finish you, to end you, how to throw you out of any of their business. These men woke up one day. I'm reading Matthew 27 and verse 22. The choice is yours. My devotion for number 16. The choice is yours. Verse 2. And they bound him and led him away and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Jesus, when Judas, comma, his betrayer, <laughs> my friend, you have two of friends, but on among the two of you have Judas, the betrayer. The betrayer. I'm looking at my clock so that I can go and clock and out, then I can continue with my class. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, Judas, Judas was afflicted in mind and troubled for his former folly and with remorse, with little more than a selfish dread of the consequences, like this season, some people feel like that. After knowing the truth. When you know the truth, it sets you free. <laughs> Just be free in your heart, my dear. Just be free. He brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief. <laughs> Priests and the elders. My brother, my sister. Don't sell yourself so short. Don't sell yourself to the devil. Because you're going to be humiliated in an amazing way. Your own mistakes are going to make you pay for your mistakes. Judas Iscariot, you love the money. You've sold off your children. Africa. <laughs> Judas Iscariot sold off his... Careful out there. He took back the silver. Because Jesus' life is priceless. You cannot put a price tag. After knowing Christ and making Christ be my personal Lord and Savior, you don't have a price tag that can handle more. That is how huge I am. <laughs> With my Jesus inside, no price tag can handle. You, you can go and sell yourself, but not him. Verses 4, saying I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They replied, what is that to us? See to that yourself. <laughs> You've eaten the wrong food with the wrong people. Now you're feeling so guilty. You have to pay for the consequences. 
because the people you acted with, the people that gave you the power, pushed you, sang, they're nowhere to be seen. So careful when you're walking in life. And if you want deliverance, go and apologize to whoever hurt your feelings. And move on. Why? So that you don't walk guilty. Judas is called you to go so guilt after giving, after handing over Christ to the, to, to the Pharisees, the Pharisees. Verse 5, and casting the pieces of silver forward into the holy place of the sanctuary of the temple, he departed and he went off and hung himself. Please don't hang yourself. Please, 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 please don't hang yourself. Simply because you made a wrong decision, please don't hang yourself. It's not worth it. Don't hang yourself, please. Now, pause a bit. We are going to go and... Uh, Punch out. Katana wava na kwa kola. Katana wava na kwa kola. Kalimu pere kereko, please. Just for just Bambi, please. Katana wava na kwa kola. Let's pause a bit and move around. Mm, what do I want? I want to punch out. Kuna Muje to gain the Kunam Lunde Chisa Kunam Lunde Chisa Kunam Lunde Chisa Kivan Nurevam Kama Voka 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 Please don't engage in a fight you have no idea about. Don't be part of a fight you have no idea about. Because when the truth comes out, you're going to be guilty for the rest of your life. Please make sure you don't engage. Judas Iscariot engaged in a war he did not understand. And he was tagged a betrayer. The guilt of a betrayer leads you to committing suicide. 
please don't commit suicide simply because in COVID season we found out that you and I are betrayers. If you want to avoid that, please just read Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verses 14. Then you read the whole book of Joel and you repent and repent on behalf of others and other generations and the Lord will deliver you. The Lord will heal your land, Uganda, Africa, the United States of America, Asia, Europe, hmm? Australia. This is the day the Lord has made and we shall all be glad in it. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, verse 6. But the chief priests picking up the pieces of silver said, It is not legal to put these in the consecrated treasury, for it is the price of blood. They gave it to him. They also knew that he was paying for blood in an exchange for blood. You have sold your friends, you have sold your mothers to the highest bidder. You have shed blood. Now the blood of Jesus was consecrated. Now are yours. <laughs> I don't know. Verse 7. So after consultation, they bought with them the piece of land, the, the pieces of silver, the potter's field as a place in which to bury strangers. They used 30 pieces of silver, the price they had put on Christ, to buy land where they are going to bury all their men. Okay. Verses 8. Therefore that piece of ground has been called the field of blood to the present day. Then was fulfilled the words, then were fulfilled the words spoken by Jeremiah the prophet when he said, and they took the thirty pieces of silver, the piece, the price of him on whom a price had been set by some of the sons of Israel. Verses 10. And they, and they gave he, them for the potter's field as the Lord directed me. Verses 11, now Jesus stood before the governor, Pilate, and the governor asked him, are you, a king, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said to him, you have stated the fact. Verse 12, but when the changes were made against him by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Verses 12, but when the char charges were made, were made against him by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Verse 13, Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many and, and how serious are the things they are testifying against you? Verses 14, But he made no reply to him, not even a single accusation so that the governor marveled greatly. Verses 15, Now at the feast or the Passover, the governor was in the habit of, of stating free for the people, anyone, prisoner, whom they chose. Verses 16, And at that time they had a notorious prisoner whose name was Barnabas. Verse 17, so when they had assembled for the functioning, sorry, for this purpose, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to send? Verses 18. For he knew that it was because of envy that they had handed him over to him. <laughs> envy is sin. Please don't be envious of anyone. Don't be jealous. Don't become a betrayer. They basically helped the word of God to be fulfilled. 
they j that's what they did Verses 19, also while he was seated on the judgment bench, his wife sent him a message saying, have, have nothing to do with that just and uproot man, for I have had a painful experience today in a dream because of him. Verses 20, but the chief priests and the elders Verses uh, 20, the chief priests, the chief priests and the elders prevailed on the people to ask for Barnabas and put Jesus to death. Again, the governor said to them, which of the two do you wish me to release for you? They said, Sir, they, and they said, Barnabas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? Thank you. Verses 20, 20, 22, Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? The choice is yours. He made, the governor made sure that um, he has no fault. Hence he washes his hands. It was too physical. So verses 22 says, that Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? And verses 23, they say, they also replied to him, to, they also replied, Let him be crucified. And he said, Why? What has he done that is evil? But they shouted all the loud, Let him be crucified. The choice is yours. You can make all the choices you want. Some of you keep saying you're old enough. But when I look at you and you're being old, the difference is the similarity. The choice is yours. That's something I want you to ponder about the whole night. When you're, the whole morning in Uganda and those who will be going to bed, please think about that word. Think about that word. Uh, let me sing one song. I I pray. Let me first pray close. Sing one more song and we go. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. I surrender everything into your hands. I surrender each and everything that concerns you. Lord, you are faithful. Lord, you are amazing. I give you praise, Father. I give you glory, Lord. I give you honor. Lord, I thank you. Lord, intervene and take over. Give us an understanding of your word. Help us to walk by your word, not to just read it and leave it there. Lord, I thank you because you're good. Bless each and every woman who is preparing to, to get ready and leave the house. I give you praise, Lord. I give you glory. I give you honor. Because you're faithful. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, I cover the team that works tirelessly to support other people. I work for that team. I cover it in the blood. Let the Lord allow the Lord to walk with you in each and everything. I give you praise, Lord. I give you glory.
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Father. Thank you, my Master, Lord. Let your will be done and let your love prevail. I continue to decrease as, as other people increase. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I give you praise. I give you glory, Lord. I give you honor. Lord, keep guiding us, Lord, in the weddings that we are having. Father, provide the people who don't have anything. But the Lord provided and they got a full attire to wear. Lord, come and take over. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Master Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I give you praise, I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. Those who still have their parents, there is a handover in the spiritual reign. The Lord is handing over the old people's buttons to other children. Just stay in your lane, serve your God, speak what is right. The season is for handing over. Please hand over with dignity. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my master. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I give you glory because you're good. Amen. I will be back in the morning, my time. Please enjoy yourself. Those who are supposed to hand over, please don't stay with the book. Hand over, the choice is yours. Devotion for day 16, the choice is yours. Matthew chapter 27, verses 22. I love you all. Take care. Good morning, Uganda. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye-bye.